stent implantation and expansion. After having positioned the stent, the operator should recheck the position relative to the side branches and landmarks of the target lesion. It is important to remember that the stent is a permanent implant and time should be taken to place it correctly, thus avoiding additional and unnecessary stents. It is also important that the stent covers the entire length of the dissection or lesion without leaving any inflow and outflow obstruction. Stent expansion should be performed under fluoroscopy to judge whether it is fully expanded and to ensure that its diameter matches the proximal and distal reference coronary artery diameters. Optimal implantation requires that the stent struts be in full contact with, also known as a position, to the arterial wall. If the stent is not symmetrically expanded, a larger balloon up to 4 mm or a high inflation pressure more than 14 atmosphere may be used. Ideally, the final stand diameter should match that of the referenced vessel. All efforts should be taken to ensure that the stent is not under dilated. Iwas imaging is the only method of guaranteeing this.